Today we're going to look at one of my favourite types of bug. No source code, no symbols, just a crash. Let's take this back a bit first. Sid Meier's Alpha Centauri is an incredibly popular strategy game from the late 90s and it's still available to buy on both GOG and Steam. The GOG version is interesting as it's part of their preservation program where they guarantee it will work on current and future most popular Windows PC configurations DRM free. Now that's a noble goal and one I can get behind, but it seems all is not well in the world of game preservation. A GOG forum post from the 10th of October 2024 states that the latest release of Windows 11, 24H2, breaks the game and many others also experience this. Looking a bit through the comments and it seems only the expansion Alien Crossfire is broken and that it manifests itself in a few different ways. Some get an error message, some start but the sea instantly rises, but they all seem to end in a crash soon after starting a game. Now I'm intrigued. So let's buy the game from GOG and see what happens. I am after all running the affected version of Windows 11 24H2 HP Pencil on my host machine. The expansion is an entirely separate executable which is interesting. The base game seems fine but the expansion does crash almost immediately after starting a new game. Looking at it under a debugger, I get an access violation here, but if we open that up in Ghidra, we get this miserable decompilation. Before jumping in to try and understand this assembly, let's do some more exploratory research first. I've run the game in a Windows 10 VM and it seems to be fine, so we've got a base case to compare against. Running again on my host machine, and I now crash somewhere else, and EAX is invalid. So let's set a hardware breakpoint on the bad address, so the debugger will stop when that value is set. It's hit here. The strings in the function suggest it's to do with save files. However, the call that copies the corrupted data isn't called on Windows 10. My concern is that we're looking at the symptoms, not the cause. We've got a crash that manifests itself in different ways on Windows 11 HP source, but we're in a code path that is never even hit on Windows 10. My guess is that there is some corrupted state earlier on in the game that has led us down this bad path. The fact that it mentions save files is interesting, so let's use Procmon to capture all the file I.O. calls and see if there's anything that stands out. Okay, there is something interesting. On Windows 10 all seems fine, but on 11, when it tries to write the autosave file, it has this massive file length and then ends in a crash. Procmon gives the call stack of the function call, so we can find the right code here, and it seems to write the file in chunks, which isn't too unusual. If we step through it with a debugger, eventually EBX becomes very large, and then that feeds through to the large write size. So it looks like as soon as the new game is started, it creates an autosave file, and if we compare one from both OS's, we can see that the one on Windows 11 has a massive amount of repeating bytes. I think we're onto something here. I've stepped through both side by side, and it's the first write call on Windows 11 that fills the file with garbage. What's interesting is that the call stack is the same in both, except for this call. So they're both ending up at the same write call at the same time, just through different routes. Painfully tracing through them both side by side, then we end up at this if statement, which does some extra code if this value is less than ops b. This is never taken on Windows 10, but is taken on Windows 11, and this extra code seems to be causing some issues. The value used for the conditional is 0 on Windows 11 and ox 27 e on Windows 10. If we reset and stop both at the start of this function, then that conditional value is already different, so the corruption, or whatever is causing the difference, happens a priori. If I patch the stack value on Windows 11 to be the same as the Windows 10 version, then it seems to run okay, but the question is... why? To add to the confusion, the stack value changes on each run on Windows 10, but it always passes this check. At the start of the calling function, that stack value is zero on both, then if we step down, they both end up non-zero values here. However, further down, this function calls zeroes it on Windows 11, but not on Windows 10. Digging into this function, we can see it just wraps another call in a critical section, which is a mutex-like Win32 primitive. The first function enters the critical section, and the last call leaves it. And it's the leave critical section call that's clobbering the stack value, but again, only on Windows 11, HS2 to Birmingham. Let's take another look at that function with the branch. The first thing it does is allocate a chunk of stack space. It then invokes one of two very similar functions with a size and a pointer to that stack space. If we dig into these functions, we can see the first ends up in a call to read file and the second with write file. So this function is some sort of wrapper around reading or writing files and the second parameter controls what action it does. Things then get weird when you look at this if statement. It's based on an offset into the stack buffer, but it's never initialized. 
In fact, assuming you're on the right file path, this whole thing doesn't make sense as we're writing uninitialized memory to a file and then making a branching decision based on it. This would make more sense on the read path as that would initialize the stack buffer. Stepping a bit further through the code on Windows 10 and it writes to the file again with valid data, so that explains why the undefined behavior doesn't affect the saved game file. But why did this work before the Windows 11 update? The first thing to establish is that this is a bug in the game code. It's relying on undefined behavior. When a function wants to allocate more stack space, it does so by moving the stack pointer further down the stack. But it doesn't zero or clear out this new memory. It's just left in whatever state it was before. So this is just the garbage left over from previous function calls. So the game just got lucky in that the stack was just left in a state such that this if check failed and it never executed this bad code. However, Windows 11 HMRC changed the internal implementation of leave critical section, causing it to use more stack space and leave it in a different state afterwards. Function call now clobbers the stack value the game was unintendedly assuming would always be greater than ox b. To be clear, this is a bug with the game, not with Windows. Microsoft are free to change the internal implementation of any of their functions whenever they choose, and apps should not be relying on the value of uninitialized memory. Before we dive into a fix, there's one more question we need to answer. Why does this only happen on the expansion and not on the base game? Let's grind this through Ghidra. It's not immediately obvious where the counterpart for our function is, but if we dump all the disassembly to a file and search for some constants, then we end up here. These functions look similar, but the if statement and subsequent logic are not in the original, so it looks like the undefined behavior was added in the expansion. Let's try and fix it. As a quick and dirty fix, I've just disabled autosaving by making the save directory read only, but the game still crashes on manual save, so that's just not going to work for us. What I'm going to do is patch the binary to add a little bit more logic. So before the call to the function which called leave critical section and clobbers the stack, we'll jump to some custom assembly. What that will do is store off the original stack value, call the normal function, and then put that value back. Basically, we're going to preserve the undefined behavior prior to the update. As this might be useful to other people, I wanted to create an easy to use patching tool, so I've created a simple c -sharp GUI app that allows you to drag and drop the XE. It'll do a quick hash check to ensure you've got the right file, apply the patch and save it as a copy. I like using c -sharp and .NET as it allows me to publish as a self-contained binary, so it has no dependencies and should run pretty much everywhere. It does mean that this simple self-contained app though is quite girthy. I've tried both the patcher and the patch binary on my host machine and a fresh Windows 11 VM and the game progresses past the initial quick save. I've put the source code and the tool on GitHub and I'll link it down below, so I guess all that's left now is for me to ask you to subscribe and point you towards another video. But wait, what's all this extra footage? So I posted this on the Alpha Centauri Reddit and Discord, which I'll link down below, and two things became immediately obvious. One, there already exists a fix via a community mod, and two, Mine doesn't work. So for the first part, I suggest people actually use the mod fix as it replaces the whole read-write functions and it's probably less brittle than what I've done. That being said, I still want to try and fix mine because it might be useful to people who don't want to run this mod and just want to run the vanilla game. Okay, the report from Reddit is that the game worked past the initial autosave but crashed after playing a few turns. I'm prepared to put my hands up here and say I probably could have checked this earlier. I've never actually played the game before, so my testing was limited to just spinning up a quick new game and clicking around a bit. I can confirm that after playing the game some more, it does indeed crash again. So we crash here and it's hard to say but it looks like it's loading some offset from somewhere around the save file data. When we crash we always get the same large in-game year which again implies memory corruption. Again. Hardware breakpoint on address that is red that leads to the crash, and it's written from here, but the breakpoint isn't hit on Windows 10. So we've got a divergence of logic, however something I've noticed is that the game always crashes after 10 years of in-game play, so maybe another autosave issue. I've traced through both side by side again and we've ended up back at the same place as before, except this time it's a different uninitialized stack address that's assumed to be less than OXB, but being clobbered by the Windows 11 update. Basically, the previous patch was too targeted, just restoring a single call to leave critical section, whereas there are other routes to this function which also have bad stack values. Let's have a look at what this additional code actually does that causes us so much misery. It looks like it's copying the uninitialized data into some global data. Before the copy, it seems to have some sort of structure and even has what looks like the game's current year in it, but after that, it's all garbage. I'm going to assert that this if block was never meant to be called when this function is called to do a write. However, interestingly, I've played it through a bit on Windows 10 and it looks like this if branch is never entered. 
So let's just patch it out. And it works. Okay, the correct fix is probably to add an additional check to see if you're first doing a read and then see if this value is less than ox b. However, it's good enough for now, so let's get it into the hands of the people. You know what? It makes all the effort worth it. Good luck to you, Muffinator. What's super interesting is that this is not the only game that has had this issue. GTA San Andreas also had a latent bug that was triggered by the Windows 11 HSBC update. I won't spoil it for you, but I'll leave a link because it's well worth a read. I've also reported this to GOG in the hopes it might be useful to them. They said they would pass it on to the appropriate teams and then mark the ticket as solved. So I guess that's fixed then. But if you enjoyed this and you want to see how I removed the DRM from a James Bond game, then you'll want to check out this video here.